Every frame is an opportunity for more storytelling that you can layer on. By having this little sly smile from Sasa, we're seeing that ultimately this is kind of what he wants. He's not particularly regretful, he's not particularly mournful that his father has died. Hi, I'm Carl Allen, lead cinematic artist for Warhammer and Three Kingdoms, and I'm here to show you some of the behind the scenes process on our latest trailer, A World Betrayed. We were quite proud that um, a lot of our animations are all taken from the game. For the vast majority of some of these scenes, we need to be a bit more uh, nuanced about it. Um, the speed more subtlety is required. So a lot of these animations, like you take Dong Zhuo here, him panicking, um, we wouldn't necessarily get this from the game. So this is something we've had to plan out and motion capture ourselves. <laughs> Um, this was quite fun to um, <laughs> to plan out as well. Um, the falling of Dong Duo actually was Liu Bei falling over in his trailer when he falls backwards. Um, obviously, Dong Duo being a much bigger chap, uh, we had to change the weight and flow of the body. Um, we also wanted more of the beginning of the animation to show his expression, the pain he's in. That was uh, it. Was quite fun to try not to push it too far, otherwise it becomes a bit comical. <laughs> I actually opted for quite simple shots. I wanted to be quite long and straightforward with clean composition so that we can spend more time really looking into what these characters are feeling. The music is going to primarily be the most important factor here for top storytelling. It's going to be, it's, it's half of what we're, we're experiencing, right? We, the music, you can't neglect it. There are actually two versions of Swin Jan's death. One version, he's crushed by a boulder, and the other, he's ambushed and killed by archers. In the end, we thought the archer version would be a bit more romantic, as opposed to just finding him in this scene here, crushed under a boulder. I took a lot of inspiration, actually, from the Three Kingdoms TV series, where he's deliberately exerting himself. He's crying to the heavens, because he wants the world to know that his father has been murdered, now he has justification to seek revenge. In the end, when we put that scene with the others, it felt like there was far too much energy, and I mean, especially from behind, it felt like he was doing some kind of incantation. He was casting a spell. Um, it didn't really work at all, um, so we opted more for the solemn approach. So this is one of those scenes where it may not necessarily be clear what's happening to everybody, but it's Sun Tse has to make a decision. He's inherited the Imperial Seal from his father, and whether he wants to pursue his father's dreams of taking the kingdom, or whether he wants to just disregard the Imperial Seal entirely, it's up to him, but also as a player, it's now up to you. You could just hold on to it and use that for your own benefit. So this, this is one of my probably my favorite scene uh, in the trailer. The reason for it is because Zhao Chan was added to the game in the Mandate of Heaven. When we initially planned out the content for the game, Zhao Chan wasn't going to be in Mandate of Heaven. She was going to be added into the A World Betrayed. Uh, so I always felt um, I never really got a chance to show Liu Bu and Zhao Chan together and for me, it's a really important moment. It's what's driven Lu Bu to do what he has done. So um, being able to animate this, being able to put this into the engine for everybody to see was, it was great for all of us as artists and the storytellers. We really enjoyed doing the scene. Yeah, it's, it's a moment we can't really overlook, I suppose. So here we can see all the new content that's going to the game with these new units. Lu Bu has some unique characters. Um, again, we've got this new unique model for Liu Bei and some other characters. Originally, this was a scene just for Sun Tse, but when we saw that these other characters were being added to the game, it was a great opportunity just to add those into the background so that they were part of his decision, they were part of his movement.
Yeah, it's little touches like that. So getting a little bit of a sly smile from Sal Sal. Every frame is an opportunity for more storytelling that you can layer on. So by having this little sly smile from Sal Sal, we're seeing that ultimately this is kind of what he wants. He's not particularly regretful, he's not particularly mournful that his father has died. Actually, this is exactly what he's after. Now he can invade. I do hope you enjoyed this look behind the cinematic. If there is a favourite part, please let us know in the comment below. Thanks for watching.